Hello, my name's Jason. It's good to see you today and I hope you're all okay today. I just wanted to share with you about the Mormons and they visited my family recently. My mother and father and uncle have recently become born again Christians. Well, the Mormons came to see my family. They gave each of my family one of these cards and they asked my family to take one to look at the picture and pray. And as they prayed and as they look at the picture, something amazing will happen to them. Well, my uncle, after a few minutes waiting, said, is that it? Because nothing actually happened. And, you know, I had to tell my parents and, and my uncle that the Mormon church is a very dangerous church. They felt the same when they were talking to, to the Mormons. They realised that the Mormons were not teaching what the Bible teaches. You see, the Mormon church will tell you that they believe what you believe. Uh, they will say that they believe Jesus died on the cross. You know, the message of Christianity is that Jesus died on the cross for our sin. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes on him shall not perish but have eternal life. The message of the cross is that Jesus was your substitute. He died in your place for your sin so that you can be forgiven and be cleansed and washed and, and have a new start in life because of the cross of Christ. It's a simple gospel that even a child can understand. We've got to walk in love, but we're not saved by what we do. We're saved by believing in Jesus and what he's done for us at the cross. Now, the Mormons will come along and they say, you'll say, well, I believe in Jesus and he died on the cross. And they'll say, well, we believe the same. But when you start to ask questions, you'll find that they, their teaching actually attacks and undermines that simple gospel of salvation. Okay? But I just want to explain some of the things about the Mormons and where they are wrong. First of all, their founder was Joseph Smith, a picture of the chap here. In the Bible, it says that an elder must be the husband of one wife. You can't be a leader in the Church of God in the New Testament unless you've got one wife. You can't have more than one wife. When Joseph Smith came, he had many wives. He had many, many wives. So he disqualifies himself as being a leader of the church. Also, he said he found this book, the Book of Mormon, with golden plates and he said that this book was thousands of years old thousands of years old and he found the golden plates of this book the book of mormon now if this book if this book is thousands of years old then i need to ask a question This book was written in the 1600s. This is, sorry, this is the New King James based on the King James Version. Now the King James Version of the Bible was written in the 1600s. You know the King, old King, King James, thee and thou, all right? Thee and thou. So how come, if that King James was written in 1600s, okay, and this was written way before that, 1,400 or maybe 1,800 years before the King James Version, if that was the case, how come this book has got loads of the King James Version of the Bible in it? How come this book has got loads of the King James version of the bible in it could it not be that joseph smith didn't find golden plates but joseph smith knew the king james bible and began to write his own version and because he only knew the king james version the king james version got into the book of mormon and he tells us a lie that he found the golden plates but actually he wrote it because it's full of the king james version in there which shows that it's not thousands of years old. The other thing as well is at the time that 
Joseph Smith found this book, there was a novel or a couple of novels written uh, by novelists that had similar stories about a people leaving um, leaving um, Israel and coming to America. The story in here is about a, a, a tribe that left Israel and went to uh, America and formed a, a new people in America. But it's interesting to note when Joseph Smith found this book, there were actually novels published before he found this book novels published in America that was telling that story. So could it not be that Joseph Smith wrote the Book of Mormon with those novels in mind and also using the King James Version? The second, the third thing that we need to realize about the the, um, the Mormon church is, is about the priesthood, the Aaronic priesthood. The Mormons say that they've re-established the Aaronic priesthood. That's why they have the temple. And the men in the in the Mormon church are priests of the from Aaron. Now in the Old Testament, the Aaronic priesthood uh, would sacrifice animals for sin for the people of Israel. And the book of Hebrews talks about this, that when the... Uh, Aaronic priesthood, when the high priest especially uh, from from the Aaronic side was sacrificing lambs and goats and, and animals for sin these would never fully satisfy God's justice and they would always have to keep doing it year after year but when Jesus came he was the lamb that would take away the sin of the world he was the final high priest and the final sacrifice for sin. So when Jesus died, he abolished the Aaronic priesthood. Alright? Now, if the Mormons say that they've re-established the Aaronic priesthood, the old, in a way, that's like the Old Testament sacrifices in a way, then that actually attacks the cross that Jesus was the last high priest the last one of the great line of of uh, high priests sorry so they're going against the word of god re-establishing a priesthood that jesus abolished at the cross so that's a major major important thing the other thing is it talks about we are a priesthood in the bible but a spiritual priesthood. It's nothing to do with the Aaronic priesthood. But we are all priests. Men and women are all priests. In the sense that we are servants of God. We are to serve God. It calls us a royal priesthood. In that sense. But the Mormon church is sexist. Because the only priests in the Mormon church are the men, not the women. Whereas in the Bible we are all equal. We are all servants of God in the sense of spiritual servants the royal priesthood excuse me so I know that's a bit deep for you but basically they're trying to re-establish the Old Testament and Jesus has abolished uh, the high priest of the Old Testament he was the final high priest that's basically all that you need to know really so that's just a few things about the Mormons uh, they're lovely people, they're nice people, they're nice churches when you go in there, they're nice um, people. But this is what the Apostle Paul says about anybody who comes with a false gospel. And you need to realise that the Mormons are a false apostate, uh, erroneous, heretical group. Okay, They're not Christian. They're not biblical and they're dangerous. They really are. If you read Galatians chapter 1 verse 6 to 10 it says, I marvel that you are turning away so soon from him who called you in the grace of Christ to a different gospel, which is not another. But there are some who trouble you and want to pervert the gospel of Christ. But even if we are an angel from heaven, 
preach another gospel to you than that what we preach to you, let him be accursed. And we said before, so now I say again, if anyone preaches any other gospel to you than that which you have received, or let him be accursed. So Paul is saying, if anyone comes to you and they're preaching a gospel that's not the true gospel that the Bible teaches, let them be accursed. So this is a cursed movement. When Mormons come to your door, what I would suggest you do is tell them your testimony and then shut the door on them and say, I'm sorry, but we don't agree with what you're teaching. It's not right. It's not biblical. And you, and you shouldn't have anything to do with the Mormon church. And tell them that. And say this, tell them what the gospel is. If you let them into your house and you let them talk to you, they will get under your skin and they will blind you and you will begin to be drifting into the Mormon church. Let your pastor or let uh, a Christian leader in your church deal with the Mormons. Otherwise, they will trick you. If you want to learn a bit more about the Mormon church, uh, there are videos on this channel about the Mormons and testimonies about people coming out of the Mormon church. And I hope that's a blessing to you. Thank you for listening. If you want to talk or if you need support, uh, please let me know if you're a Mormon and you, you want to talk about Christian things. You can always contact me on Zwe Samuel Zwema Theological Seminary website. All right, thank you for listening. God bless you.